Now I'm going to show you how to do assembly of parts. There's two type of assemblies. One is called bottom up assembly where you have all the parts saved and drawn different in, in different files and you made assembly files bringing all those parts together. The other type is that top down assembly where you create all the drawing in the same file and um, do the assembly. Now we will do the bottom up assemblies of parts. First we have to go um, new and I'll select assemblies. Since it's a bottom up assembly all my parts are drawn separately and saved in separate part file. I'm clicking the assembly and um, it will create the assembly window. It will ask um, for the files by itself. I'm looking for my parts. These are the parts. They are in the same folder and these are the parts I will be using to create my assembly. So I selected all those. I said open and it is showing one part at a time. So this part I know uh, this assembly is about a pulley system. So this is a lock. So I want this away from here, from the main bodies, and then it will automatically ask for the second part. This lock will go in this pin, so I'm going to keep that pin here. And this is, this is automatically coming in. This is the holder of my pulley system, so this will go a little bit up here. And um, I can zoom in. So this pulley will go inside of that holder so I pu put it here and that's all um, I'm ready to go. So once I include or incorporate all my parts now I have to do the mates. So what I can do go to the assembly tab create mate and when we create the mate it different from uh, model to model but you have to use your concept which part goes where which part touch it, each other whether they are coincident parallel perpendicular you have to put the relationship between the surfaces so for example um, for my two part here this pulley has to go up here and what I can see is that this surface this surface is going to be in touch with this surface. So I select the two surfaces. Now they're aligned. They say it says coincident. I can do parallel, and then it will go inside. I don't want that in the first time. So I say, and I can also do perpendicular, and that's what I don't want. Um, so coincident is fine for now. I said yes. Now they are aligned. I need this one to go up here so what I can do is that select the inner cylinder that has to go uh, parallel with the cylinder here so I select that and they should be um, aligned and you see I selected concentric so they should be um, in the same um, see they are an aligned and concentric so I say yes now that part is ready so now all I have to do is that put my lock and pin in um, so for that I want this surface go along with the, the hole here so I select that now they're aligned Con concentric I said yes so now they're aligned but I want this pin to go in all the way so what I have to do I see this surface here I select that and then now I have to select this top surface to go in. See, I selected here co incident so that it went all the way through. 
and I can see it went out on the other side so I say yes now it's already all I have to do is that put that lock that other part we have left here the lock in on that part. Now for the lock I will select this side of my lock here and then I'm gonna go to the other side and select this surface and they should align you see the lock came on this side so I select the first relation and now now I have to put that lock in through that hole so what I'm selecting is that the outer surface of the pin and the inner surface of the lock and they're parallel so it's not moving I have to say tent as soon as I say tangent it went through that hole and put it itself into its place now you see the lock went through to the pin and it the pulley now it's assembled it cannot move out so now let's see if I can see a 3d how it looks like so this is my uh, pulley all assembled the locks are in place uh, so I'll say yes next video we're gonna show how to change color and make it more beautiful